In this video, we will look at some of the advanced scenarios with expect flow. So far in our previous videos, we have defined the scenarios for our add method in a calculate service. But what if I would like to define the test cases for the rest of my methods, such as the subtract, multiply and divide. In such cases, the simplest thing to do, which you are, you may already aware is you can simply just copy the scenarios and then add it like this. Of course, you cannot have a duplicate exact same scenarios. You have to change the definition or the name of the scenario because these scenarios names are going to be added as your test case name here on your test explorer. So what I'm going to say here in this case, let's just subtract two numbers my if my first number is this second number is this then what I'm going to do is the result should be 50 right similarly the next thing what I'm going to do is I'll define the scenario for multiply multiply two numbers if my first number is seven and number is six then the multiply is say supposed to be 42 and here on the subtract method when two number are subtracted right and similarly two numbers are multiplied next so i'm going to do is i'm going to add a scenario for my divide method which is our divide then I'm expecting 42 now when we have duplicated our add scenarios we did not require to create a another step definition because the same exact step definitions were used it because the only changes what we were doing is we were just changing these numbers and rest of the things were remain same now in such scenarios we can reutilize our step definition which are already been defined but what if i have a new step definition or a step which I've defined in my Gherkin format then I have to declare a step definition for that same if you look at here on the subtract multiply and divide scenarios first two line of the Gherkin scenario which is given first number is this which is the exact same as what we have for my add scenario in that case it's not showing any changes it means that the, it has my spec flow project has already found the step definition for these two lines similarly it has found the step definition for the last result line because the result line or this gherkin scenario for the result text is same what we have for the add now the only change is what we have in the when condition because in here on the subtract scenario we are not saying when two numbers are added we are saying when two numbers are subtracted similarly when two numbers are multiplied and when two numbers are divided what it means that we have it, the project has not found any step definition for these three different scenarios to create a step definition we can simply right click on these project and it will display a context menu it says define and step so you can define this step this is how our step definition step will look like you can copy to clipboard or create or you can also change the name of your step definition class let's say if you would like to define these specific step to a dedicated class then you can change the name of that class specifically if i click on create what it will do is it will try give you a notification that it is going to overwrite this step what it is already has and that is something you do not want because if you overwrite the steps what you already have 
then the step for given and 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 then it is going to be wiped out so i don't want to do that so i'll simply say no so better to do is you simply copy those steps i'll say copy to clipboard do not mistakenly overwrite that so i'm going to copy that it has got the same <clears throat> throw new pending step execution exception so that is what we do not want so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, simply provide an implementation for subtract multiply and divide so here i'm going to call my subtract method here it's going to be multiplied and here it's going to be divided that's it now if i recompile the application i should have my steps are clearly available and also the test are determining test cases should be added here on my test panel as you can see that we have got these three test scenarios which are added but it's not been executed as of now but as this color is still looking purple and after some time it has gone now automatically if not then you just reopen this feature file and it will be reflected back again this happens sometime depends upon your visual studio performance now if i rerun again i should expect all my test cases to be passed as expected all my test cases are passing uh, because the, whatever data i have provided in my scenarios my implementation is exactly passing the way it is expected now the last thing i would like to show you here is let's say if you would like to perform your uh, unit test 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 cases to be executed with variety of data then the option one you can do which i have already presented here in my two step you can duplicate the scenarios but in that case you have to given the name of a unique name to your scenario which is what you may not want but in such cases what in the other case what you can do is you can use a parameterize uh, or define a parameterize test cases for your scenarios for example let's say i would i would like to test this multiply scenario for different numbers what i can do is num1 and simply i can say num2 and i can say expected okay and after that what i can see say here is number this is how i can define the table and this table represent a different numeric scenarios or different data on which my test cases should be executed and i should expect the result with various data i need to recompile again so the table what you are defining you have to de decorate this table with the example keyword with the colon and once you do that this example will be added or the color of these text are going to be changed the way it is changing right now if i recompile again i should have all my test cases should be added here on the test panel just to let you know i was missing this example text or example keyword the test cases are appearing here multiply three numbers and within these three numbers i am getting these three numbers as is like this
So this that was an example. How do you use the multiple data set to perform the test on your project or, or on your code using the example set? I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. In the next video, we'll see some of the more interesting fact about the spec flow and the behavior driven test cases. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.